Hi everyone, my name's Sophie and I'm a third year law student at the University of Leicester. Um, I chose this course because I wanted to be a solicitor and I took law for A-level and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I decided to do it uh, as my degree. Um, I've really been enjoying so far applying what I've learned in a more practical context and just legal problem solving is something I really enjoy. And I also chose it because it's such a wide degree that gives you lots of career options. So I think it's a great degree to do. Um, what A-levels would I suggest when considering a law degree? So personally, I took law, English language and literature and Spanish. Um, however, I don't think there's any right or wrong subjects to take at A-level. I think just do the ones that you enjoy most as they're the ones that you're going to do best in. Um, and regardless of what um, subjects you take, you're going to get a good foundation knowledge of the law in the first year of your law degree anyway. So I really wouldn't worry too much about what specific subjects to take at A-level. And the next question is, if you work, how do you balance working with studying? So I was a student ambassador for the University of Leicester, as well as being a peer mentor. And now I'm on the Pro Bono Society. Um, so I think my top tips would be just be organised. Like I have a diary where I write everything down and kind of plan my time around uh, the events that I know are coming up. Um, although other than that and like time management, I think it's quite nice to have something to work on outside of your degree. Um, but make sure you take breaks and don't get, don't burn out and make sure you really do take time for yourself as well. Um, any struggles, anxieties or fears and how you overcame them? So I didn't really have any anxieties or fears about actually coming to university. However, since being here, I have, the thing that I've been most worried about is finding a grad job after I graduate. Um, so I've I've done lots of applications and received lots of rejections as well, but I think my key advice would just be to persevere, don't worry, don't give up, build up that resilience because you will get something, and I didn't think I'd get anything in my second year, but out of nowhere I managed to secure a vacation scheme, so definitely just keep pushing and you will get something. Um, in terms of any other like fears or anxieties, make sure that you reach out to your friends or book an appointment with your year tutor. Just really have that support network around you and people are willing to help. So don't worry about that too much. As long as you reach out to others, you'll be fine. Uh, what do you plan to do after your degree? So my career goal is to be a solicitor. So I'm currently applying to lots of training contracts right now. Uh, what advice would you give to anyone considering taking up the course? Um, I would say that if it's something you really want to do, go for it. It's such an interesting subject. Um, there is a lot of work to do, so be prepared to do lots of reading uh, and make sure you do make time to socialise and take those breaks when you need it. Um, yeah, so just don't overwork yourself. Get involved with all the extracurricular activities on offer um, and just network like you never know what doors could open for you. It's such an interesting degree. Um, what could students start doing now to prepare them for life in that field of study? Um, I would say start building up your commercial awareness now. You could do this by listening to podcasts or just watching the news and discussing it with friends and family, thinking critically about it and how that might affect businesses or law firms. Um, to be honest, you probably have a lot of really good transferable skills now that you don't even realise. So just really think about kind of how those skills could translate into the legal sector. Um, and if you know that you eventually want to work in the legal sector, I would recommend start researching firms now, just attend any online webinars that they're holding um, and do as much research as you can, as that will really make it easier when you're applying to uh, postgrad positions when you get to university. Uh, so my perspective on study pre and post COVID. So I definitely prefer, uh, preferred in-person teaching as it was nice to see everyone in their lecture theatre, discuss topics with friends after lectures and tutorials. Um, but online learning has really allowed me to manage my time better and work when best suits me. So it's been great in that respect. Um, but with online learning, it can be quite difficult to kind of feel part of a, a group so or part of a community. So I would just say make sure to reach out to others when you need like it doesn't take a lot to send a message or set up a video call to discuss any topics that you're struggling with lastly what would i say to my 16 year old self <laughs> i would say a lot of things to my 16 year old self but i think the main thing would be to not worry about things too much 
if you don't know what you want to do at this moment in time, don't worry about it. Everything works out and you're still young, so you have time to explore your options and inevitably your hobbies and interests are going to change as you get older. So don't feel like you have to be set on what you want to do right now. Um, so thanks for listening and uh, I wish you all the best of luck with your future studies.